The New York Times tax story on Trump broke Sunday, September 27th. Isn't it interesting to see the transiting sun triggering natal Neptune by exact conjunction Sunday and today Monday? Normally, a daily event like a sun transit would not be enough to trigger this kind of damaging revelation. But the reason is found in the much bigger and ongoing Neptune transit through the 8th house. Neptune is also the co-ruler of his 8th house as well, house of taxes, and it is the most dynamically dangerous planet in his chart by opposing Eris and squaring Mercury. If you give this planet a reason to hurt you, it will do exactly that when it is transiting in hard aspects. From the summer of 2019 until at least the end of 2023, Neptune will be locked into squares to his Sun, Moon, Uranus and Lunar nodes. This tells us that the tax problem is really only just beginning, and that it will surely accelerate and become extremely threatening when he is booted out of the White House and no longer enjoys the protection of the presidency to insulate him. In my last videos I explained that the solar position for Tuesday's debate is unfavorable because it is inside the T-square formed by Neptune, Eris and Mercury. Now the tax topic will almost certainly pop up and will add to the stress of an already stressful situation. This is going to last all week because it will be Saturday before the Sun moves beyond the degrees of Mercury. Meanwhile, Jupiter, the other ruler of the 8th house, is square itself, so it's no help at all and in fact becomes partly responsible for why this story has suddenly popped up. Now at the same time, both these planets connecting to that 8th house, the death house, means that the COVID topic will still remain primary. But a story that reveals you don't have as much money as you say, and that you like to avoid taxes, cannot be helpful towards securing the approval of working class voters. And Neptune is actually even more dangerous than any of this to Trump. It's the death house. It can literally kill you. I'm not making this up. It is 100% true and entirely possible. So, this is what he's dealing with until 2024. When? What do you see? Saturn entering Pisces and therefore into that house until 2026. O oh joy, O oh bliss. That's what I call from the frying pan into the fire.